Boy oh boy, the teaser just dropped and wait, it's one minute long. That's, that's a long one. So first we will check it out, we will watch for it together and then I will take apart the segments and we check what we see. But this is the bone zone. That seems very crowded, oh my god. Huh? Seven times. Seven times I've seen it. Always different, but... But somehow I knew it was always the same. And it showed me things. Things not of this world. Crawling masses of bones. Skulls. Yeah, bono. Swallowing everything. Growing and growing until... <laughs> the reality I knew. Bones carved with glyphs. Shifting. Changing. and Without meaning. And I could tell... <laughs> I could feel the sheer power they held. And suddenly, I knew that I could harness that power for myself. If only. Huh? <laughs> okay, let's so stop that. <laughs> so, you have to understand. I actually started working on a meme video where I would meme how many balls there are in the game and would make like jokes of how. This one dude is fully into balls and he wanted to make garlic a wolf with a track orb because you get blue balls out of it, you know. And then the developer, the main developer, he he doesn't... Like, he needs a break because he, the toasty was super complicated and gives this dude the chance to uh, come back into the company because he's always ball-centered, so he gets to make a secret character and he makes Leda, a huge ginormous ball. So I know it was totally out of place, but when I saw the ball somewhere here the bone ball, I just completely lost it because I literally worked on this a couple minutes ago. So this is amazing and I'm gonna say why. I think what this is, since we don't see a prize or so, you get to choose the starting weapon of the character. That means limit break. If you do the solo weapon limit break runs, you can choose whatever you want to choose. This will also make it a bit pointless to have multiple characters to some degree since who has the best stats? Probably Smith, right? You could just play Smith with whatever weapon you want to go for. I guess the challenge is that he only has 9 HP. But I mean, it's still fun and it's less limiting, right? I think it's a very good thing. Then we see this here, he is playing the merchant, this is the gold fever, typical, uh, we have soul eater, so there's nothing special aside from it being the merchant, I'm actually gonna mute this here. Okay, and then we have this clip, I on it, I thought for a moment this was a reference to, there was a PlayStation game that I played a ton, uh, I don't remember the name, I think it's called Dynasty Warriors or something like this, where you play on a horsey and you run around, you take down enemies, and it was amazing, I had so much fun with it, but when I saw the face, I thought this was the case here, but the, the mask is not matching. Okay. Now, this is an indicator here for all the secrets. I mean, overall, it was said there will be a ton of secrets. It makes sense. We have a ton of question marks. I think that's an indicator for this. And the rest is that uh, it's not Capella, right? That has nothing to do with Capella. Or maybe it has that you will find some secrets on Capella. The last time I watched the trailer, I completely missed that there was a character unlock for the Hydra. So I hope this doesn't happen again. Yeah, we have a ton of uh, bones here. I think we just go back to the main game. Yeah, this <laughs> this ball of bones. That is amazing. I wonder how you defeat this or what the point of this is. Ah, very interesting. And wait, no, they go around the character here, right? They are not forming their own ball. This is just a ginormous skeleton ball. Yeah, yeah, okay, this is the character. It's Antonio, there's nothing to see there. What do we have here? Oh, I don't like this. Uh, and this is also not the one where you just switch them around. Yeah, you can't read anything there. What was it? Um, uh, it's mirrored and it's flipped, right? Upside down. So this would be... No, that doesn't make any sense. Any of these don't make any sense. And the reason why I say that is because you have, for example, an H here that has nothing else in there. Maybe it just scrambles the entire sentence and you have to form sentences out of them. That could be. And the capital letter here, the M, would help, probably. Uh, but either way, yeah, I, there will be a lot. A ton about schools in general. And these symbols. Uh, Unholy Vesper. They are also on Gallo Tower. Anywhere else. 
Were they on pentagram? I don't think so. And these ring a bell. Um, X, B, M, A. This is not an X. This is a T, I think. H. Oh, no, they are very weird. N, N. Okay. Interesting. And then there's this. I would almost guess that this is a unique power-up. So if you take a look at this, there is this... It's really hard to see. I have to slow down the video for this. Okay, there we go. So do you see how it has a pink circle around it? A half circle and then it goes down. <laughs> that skull looks so stupid. <laughs> it's like, hey. Feel me. I'm the curse. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, let's continue. I don't know what that is about, but that is... What happens to you? Sorry, mate. Okay. Hear me. <laughs> okay. Well, that was it. I mean, what am I supposed to say? You have this ginormous trailer here in the beginning, which is absolutely amazing in general, but I, I don't really see anything there where I could take something out of it. And I'm so excited for the update. So don't forget to subscribe. I will cover the beta content that gets out earlier than the live version where we take a look at it. Do you have a beard? Stop! <sighs> Fauna, not now. Did you always have a beard? Okay, forget about it. Uh, it, it there was always a beard. My god. <laughs> like sometimes, I don't know. I I interesting, okay. Yeah, I don't know. The link to the teaser is in the description. Don't forget to subscribe as I will cover all the beta content as well as the secrets. And it looks like we'll have a ton this time. Boy, I'm excited.